Alright you guys, I'm up in the attic. We're taking a look at a uh, supply is down on the far end. Then we got our um, air handler, cooling only, and then our return duct. Um, I'm actually through an attic access where the ceiling fan is uh, on a hinge and connected above me. Um, we're going to have to look into uh, pull down stairs, uh, whether it's here or another spot, you know, possibly over here. Um, but we're going to have to get something for code requirements. And uh, so moving the unit, so this is 22 and a half uh, wide, 22 inches tall, and then 40, uh, 42 inches in length. Uh, my thought is, you know, getting this out, we're probably gonna have to take this return out because um, I don't think we're gonna be able to go over the top of it. Um, so that's gonna be a pretty big deal. Um, or at least cutting it down, you know, if nothing else, we gotta cut it down and then reconnect. That's actually probably what we would do. We'd cut that down where the throat is. That'll give us our height to get our unit up and over, put it into place, and then we can get a, uh, a patch over this and then put our star collar and connection onto here, um, you know, connect onto the new air handler. And then safety pan, safety switch, obviously, like I said, push it back to the, farthest part of the roofing um, which will allow room for walk boards right here and servicing and then we can run our drain uh, along the side and then out through it looks like as though line set and drain come over uh, just like too shy from the edge of that wall but I'll be able to tell better with the uh, cooling video or the AC video so I'll look at that currently it's going through this way so I'll look at that and this does third and second floor uh, and then the thermostat does all of the heat and third and second floor.